Hello, hello, hello everybody. We're walking in Clayfield. This is Elliot Street. So it's just a street opposite the farmers markets. I'm just gonna walk on the road a bit so you can get to, to visualize or see the houses a bit. Sorry about the wind, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So yeah, so Thankfully, there's no one sitting in any of these cars because it always seems a bit weird. Now, where these kids are putting up the decorations, this is number 50. And I don't want to videotape them, but number 50. There it is there. Number 50 sold. It's actually probably one of the second most recent sales from 2016 for 1.43 million. But this one here, number 54, hasn't sold since 1977, the records. And guess how much that one, this one sold for back in 1977. So you've got the one next door that sold for 1.43 million in 2016. And number 54 sold for $37,000 in 1977. It's amazing, isn't it? So look at this old one beautiful nice big blocks here nice wide street so this is what's an example of clayfield but there is a lot of units around this area as well apologies for the wind again it's a lot cooler too which i'm so sorry i haven't been out we had a lot of storms a lot of flooding you can't walk these streets when it's flooding some of them and mega hot we're talking really hot but it's a bit cool today we're expecting if you can see the clouds number 70 have i got 70 no no record of 70. Look, that's an old one look at that so you can just see the area it's an older area some of these houses they can't be demolished if they're built before a certain amount of time but they certainly can be renovated to look beautiful now we're coming up to the train station here crossing the train but number 78 here this white fence that's sold in 2015 for 845 so you can see the price jumping here you know when you look at the number 50 that sold for 1.43 you can hear the train train right at the back of it which obviously would affect the sale price so that's the obviously the entrance there there's a walkway there's a park you wouldn't want to live next door to this person look at that not looking after its grass and in Australia you've got to really mow your lawns because otherwise you get midges you get mozzies rats snakes so you've got to maintain all of that so if you're looking at buying a house there's another train Look at this old house. This is on the corner of Mabel Street and Elliott Street. It's beautiful. Look at that. Well kept. That's a ex perfect example of a house that's been done up. It's a pretty flat street today. You haven't got me panning and hot. Welcome to all the new subscribers as well. Let me know if you'd like to see anything particular in Australia. I did one of the quick supermarket the other day. Probably walked too quick, did I? to see the products probably did so that's all of the houses that I've got here I've got a unit at the end of the street which was a two bedroom but I'm not going to walk that far and that was sold for 110,000 in 1988 but 1988 was pretty much when before the properties boomed 1989 was when the market sort of shifted in Australia and again around near COVID time so you can really see these houses 47, number 47, recently sold. This is the most recent sale in the street, 2021. It sold in June for 1.36. About $7,000 less than the one here. So the plot, but I will put the links. There's a magpie, guys. See the magpie? 
you don't want to walk around here in nesting season, you probably get attacked. So nice wide streets. You can see the house there. So you can see definitely a price shift in prices, but we'll see where this goes. Hey, I like to always go back and forward. New sales, new renos, see what happens. You can see what they've done across the road here with the older one, with the tile house. They've added the extension on the carport there. The one next door, that's a beauty. That's a nice example of a single level home. And then you've got this one here on the corner that's been done up. And again, they've added the carport there. So that's my walk today. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe, put your comment in, it helps the channel. Let me know who you are. Let me know what you want to see. Somebody there wants to see a few different areas, so I'll go for a walk when I've got the opportunity. As I said, I've been, it's been really hot and flooding. So then you've got this seven day Adventist church here on the corner. So have a good one and take care.